Hello, my little beaches by the seashore. It's been quite some time since I've last made a video, so hello, it's been a while. Before I start this video, I'd like to thank Arteza for sending me these beautiful brush pens that I was able to play with in this video, as well as their watercolor brushes and their watercolor pencils and their watercolor pad, which is the single sheet of paper that I'm using because I had to take it out of the pad specifically for this video. So yeah, just a quick disclaimer that the watercolor I'm using right now is actually not from Arteza. It's the Sakura Koi Watercolors Pocket Field Sketchbox watercolors. I didn't request any watercolors specifically, but I'm just using it right now for the sake of testing out their water brushes. Anyway, the first thing I would like to say about Arteza is that they're quite affordable and they're not like some super expensive crazy ass Copic marker about to drop my whole college tuition on a damn marker expensive. They're pretty affordable and I don't think that super expensive art materials or supplies will necessarily make you a better artist. So while I was using their water brush, it was overall a good water brush. It just did its job. It did what water brushes are supposed to do like a watercolor brush. There were some instances where I felt like the water brush could have taken a chill pill with the amount of water that dispensed out of it. Like we had a little too much H2O coming out of it at some point, but I didn't feel like it was an issue that inhibited me from using it as a regular watercolor brush or something that just allowed me to blend or fade out watercolor the way I liked. So yeah, just a thing to know about. So when using the brush pens, I was really amazed with the diversity and range of unique colors within the box. I do think y'all should know though that these bitches are super saturated and vibrant as hell, which, you know, could work for some artists and it might not work for some artists depending on what you're going for. If you're looking for something more faded and subtle, I'm not sure if this will work for you, but if you're someone who just enjoys blocking in colors or you're just going for that graphic look, then this could work for you, but I mean, it really depends. Personally, I don't really mind it because most of my art tends to be flat and graphic to begin with. Usually I would just use colors to block in a shape or a background, but I never really use colors to be like a painting or a full illustration. Just know that when you lay these colors down, these bitches want to be the life of the party. They want to like scream at your face and just invite you into a dance under a disco ball with flashing lights because that's what it pretty much did for me. They were just like, Michelle, you know what? If you're going to sit in your shitty ass dorm doing nothing but record a video review, then you might as well play with some super lit ass colors because... You need to have fun sometimes, so I mean, yeah. It was still fun to really work with these colors, and it's more fun to sometimes work with colors that limit me more, because I feel that makes me create work I don't normally create. But yeah, overall, I would use these markers for more basic, general usages, like blocking in shapes and colors, but not necessarily using them and expectations of it to be as accurate as a still life or something that you're trying to replicate. So normally when I use colored pencils, they're more for the sake of adding that last final push of detail. So normally I like using colored pencils to add in that extra push of detail, like whether if it's just extra line weight or an extra little block of shade or that blush on the cheeks that just makes you want to Colored pencils for me just help in adding in that last sense of depth in your work. So if you want to push something forward or emphasize something or just highlight something, I feel colored pencils are really nice with doing it in a really subtle way without being so woe in your face like the markers. <laughs> However, I did notice that with these colored pencils, it was kind of hard to work with on top of the markers, but if you just use colored pencil on colored pencil, it's fine. But I noticed that it was less bold when I used it on top of the markers. So I ended up having to use the markers with the markers to add in the extra last shadows and lines, but 
it still worked for the cheeks so I guess like it just helps when there's less marker underneath your colored pencil if you intend for the colored pencils to come out strong. So as for the watercolor pad slash paper, it was absolutely fine. Nothing bled through. Um, I would say it just works better with the watercolor itself since it is watercolor paper, but I have a tendency to mix a lot of mediums with mediums like this was watercolor plus brush pen plus colored pencils on top of it. So I can see why using colored pencils and the brush pens didn't work as well on the watercolor paper because watercolor paper is textured like it's like a ribbed dill because of that it works better with the watercolors and you'll notice that the colored pencil and brush pens don't come out as smoothly due to the texture so ultimately yes I would recommend Arteza to anyone who's interested in experimenting or playing with any of the products I just talked about I feel like it would be a great addition for something to adding into your sketchbooks or something. Like I especially like the idea of using the brush pens as color blocks as backgrounds behind figure drawings or something like that because they're very bold and strong. They would just give your work a little more of that oomph when you want to just add in a little bit of something extra. But yeah, if you're interested in any of the products I talked about, the links are in the description below. And sorry for looking at my arms typing because, you know, I'm just talking about getting my wisdom teeth removed to my parents because nobody's perfect. I gotta work it. And not only do you just get the links to the products, but you also get 10% off because why would I make you guys pay full price and do this shit? Like... <laughs> Just kidding. But no, really. I'm really thankful for everyone's support. Sorry for my arms again, but thank you for everyone's support throughout these times. I know I've barely uploaded anything that was purely out of my own creation or just something out of my own want to make a video, but it's just been really hard because of school, but I'm just trying to get my life together. But I promise you, once that's all settled, I'll be back to making videos for fun and I can make more sketchbook videos and just talk about life again. But yeah, I'm going to be graduating soon. I'm going to be moving out soon. I'm getting my wisdom teeth pulled out of my skull. Enjoy this drawing of my characters from my film. It's going to come out in a few weeks. Look out for it. Bye. <laughs>